So guys, number five, the next one I'm going to show you is Vinci. This one here um, basically will enable you to view your springboard and control your springboard from your PC. With Vinci, you're going to need to add a bit of software to your PC, which is called Tight VNC Service, or you could use any other VNC. Um, basically, this one is a free VNC server, not like go to your PC or, or any of the other ones. This is a free one, which is a real handy tool. Um, basically, you're going to need to install this, and you're going to need the same IP address, which you'll get from your SBS settings, which you've installed from number one. Um, you'll need to enter that into the connection here um, of your computer. You'll be able to connect to your iPad and as you will see in a second if you put a password in you will enter your password when you install type VNC you will set up your passwords and there you go that's my springboard so first of all we're going to go over to the iPad and I'm going to show you how to install VNC so guys over to the iPad you're going to need to open up Cydia um, and once CD is open and loaded, you're going to need to go to search. And now you're going to need to search for a application called VNC, which is V double E N. Uh, there you go. It will come up straight away. V double E N C Y VNC. You can also get a toggle for it for your SBS settings if you want to as well. Click on VNC and install this this uh, application. Basically, once that's installed, it may respring your, your springboard or reboot your iDevice. Um, and once it has done, I'm going to install the toggle here. So I've got it on my SBS settings as well as just working. If you don't install the toggle, you won't be able to turn it on and off. Um, but once you've installed it, this will be the same process that it will do for installing VNC. It will reload the data and then it will restart or return to Cydia, as you can see there. So, once that's installed, you can come out of um, Cydia if you want to. It's not a problem at all. It doesn't matter. You just need to then get your 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 uh, IP address for the for the iPads. You need to get your IP address, which is at the top there. And in the type VNC, you're going to need to input that on there. If you've set up a password, you'll set that up once you're installing this software on your PC. Again, I'm going to show you this in another video. So this is just a quick example. Um, basically, I installed a password, which I'm going to enter now. And there you go, your iPad will come up on the screen of your PC and you will have full control of it. You can go full screen or you can move it around and just control it easily like this here. This is your iPad on your PC basically with full control. As you can see, the iPad, the iPad. So that's number five. That's the top five Cydia apps for Magic Apps Reviews for the iPad. They are the free applications. Um, I hope you enjoy those. Now the next five will be good applications for you to enable to do different things on your iPad um, which will enable you to get around and view features. Different tweaks and twiggits for you. That will be in the next one. Thank you. So your first five applications there for Cydia, the basic ones that you really should get straight away to be able to control um, and access all of your extensions and your iPad to be able to access your iPad in two, three different ways from your PC. Um, so you can control the files or you can just control your image. That's the first five applications, the SBS settings, the activator, Open SSH, which you can see there, VNC, which is now put onto the SBS settings once the toggle's installed, and your categories, so you can control your icons on your springboard. That's the first five Cydia applications from Magic App Reviews at blogspot.com. Um, good luck, guys. Hope you enjoy playing around with your iPad and your new toys and tour tricks. And... I'm going to show you the next five, which are going to include multitasking, the dock down the bottom down here, as you can see, my scrolling dock, um, control of the springboard, so you can get all these icons on here. Look out for the next video, coming soon. Thanks, guys. Magic out.